I normally don't make a video of stuff that I hate, but I really hate this thing. This is the Harbor Freight Hall Master. Um, it's supposed to have like a tilt bed. A couple of things. It sells for it sells for one fifteen or one nineteen. Um, as you can see, this is already bent on us. And let me get this thing on the ground. It took a long time to put this thing together. I mean, it's got so many screws that it becomes a pain in the backside to put together. It's got a sliding uh, tailgate that opens up. And it doesn't come with a 3-inch uh, receiver. We tried putting it on, and um, as you can tell, this is supposed to be 3 inches wide. It's not. The receiver is 3 inches wide, and it doesn't fit. Yeah, let me show you. See, it doesn't fit. It's 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 like three inches and a sixteenth or an eighth wide. Um, so it comes with a pin receiver that you put in the back of a wall mower. We wanted to put this onto an ATV, and you can't modify it. So save your money if you, that's what you're going to use it for. Um, it bends easy. It's made out of really thin gauge material, and you can see. I loaded it up with about eight bags of uh, uh, lime limestone, eight bags of uh, pellet limestone at 50 pounds uh, each. So that's 400 pounds, and this thing was already at its limit. It tipped over on me on the ATV, so uh, I don't recommend it at all. Not even for $99. It, it's... Uh, they got to pay me to buy this again. I'm not happy with it. Everything. I mean, it, it came in. You really had to spend time putting the thing, this thing together. Look how many look how many screws. And they're in awkward places. The instructions sucked. The instructions they gave you. All these screws are supposed to have washers. They gave you a ton of washers. But the instructions doesn't tell you where to put the washers. So, uh, Harbor Freight, really. You know, you could do better. It's so thin, like I said, the three inch, uh, the three and an eighth inch uh, main part of this frame bent. That's how thin it is. That's my review. Don't buy it, save your money. I would recommend a polyethylene one. The, uh, those seem to take a beat. Beaten. They won't dent on you. They won't rust. For rust, it's not bad. I, I haven't seen it rust at all yet. We've been using it for a few weeks since it's been outdoors. So it hasn't rusted. That's because it's probably not made out of good metal. There you go. My honest review of this piece of garbage. Save you money.